Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. Let me right click on the first page of HTML, open with the Firefox. Let me right click once again on the first page of HTML, open with the notepad to see the source code. In the previous tutorial, we have understood how we can type through a text or we have understood how do we display a line over the text. We can use either strike tag or a del tag or a s tag to display a line over the text or write to the text. In this tutorial, we are going to learn some more text formatting tags. So I delete this content, file, save, boot browser, refresh. We don't have anything to do. Now let's see, we are going to understand something new. I put a star, give a tab, I put one more star, I give a tab, I put one more star, hit enter, star, tab, star, tab, star, hit enter, star, tab, star, tab, star, hit enter, star, tab, star, tab, star. I save this file. Let's see how the browser interprets this content and displays. Go to browser and refresh. You can see that it has not displayed the stars in the three columns, but it has displayed everything in a single row. Can you see that? All the stars are in single row. Why? Do you remember? I have explained that browsers are going to ignore more than one white space. That's what we discussed in the previous tutorial. Like what browser is doing, how it is interpreting this. These stars, let me explain. If you have more than one white spaces, we know that browser collapse them to a single space. So whatever the space you have in between these stars, it is collapsing them to a single space. Similarly, from here to here, if you have any space, it is collapsing that to a single space. So remember that the browser is ignoring your white spaces as well as the enter key to a single white space. You can see that it is collapsing. So this is how the browser interprets. So I am selecting and hitting the space box. Selecting and hitting the space box. So this is the final result of the browser interpretation. It will create a single row, star space, star space, star space like that you have in single row all the stars. This is what the browser is displaying here. If I save, find, save and hit refresh, there should not be any change. If I refresh, you can see that there is no change. Right? This is what the browser is doing. Then, how do we display the stars something like this? Star, tab, star, tab, star, enter, star, tab, star, tab, star, enter, star, tab, star, tab, star, enter, star, tab, star, tab, star. If I want to display something like this exactly on the browser, then what I have to do? We know that if I type like this, I am getting the result, file, save, I am getting this result. So I want to display in the same way. I have formatted the content that is star in this fashion. I want to display the stars in the same format. I want to display the stars in the three columns on the browser. How do we do that? In the same way, if I want to display, we are going to use a tag called as pre tag. Just before the star, I am writing the tag called as pre tag. P R E opening tag. Then I am going to close the pre tag after this tag, P R E after the last star. So just before this star and after this star, I am putting the pre tag. So the opening pre tag, closing pre tag. That means the pre tag is a paid tag. File, save, and refresh. Let's see. You can see that in the same way the browser has displayed the star. Right? So pre-tag is used to display 
display the content as it is. That means free stands for free formatted tag. So this is how formatted previously. But in the same way, it will display the content in the browser. If you put any content in between the opening free tag and the closing free tag, then browser will interface your all white spaces, enter key, tabs, all non-visible key. The browser will interpret as key. Let me click in the notepad and type I file save refresh. I'm getting I in the new line. Automatically you can see that without the free tag is the block level tag. Let me enter myself so that I can see this I in the new line. File save and refresh move page. Beside this file, I write again file, file, save and refresh and there is once again one more file. Check this out. If I write just before this edge, I am using a tag called as big tag. So I have written the opening big tag just before the edge. After the I, I am going to write closing big tag. Then I save the file. File, save. If I refresh, observe the changes. If I press refresh, you can see that the high, the second high got displayed a little bit bigger. That means, what browser will do? If you use the big tag, whatever the content you have written in between the opening and closing big tag, that content is going to be displayed a little bit in bigger size. That is where the use of the big tag. I am going to say here br tag so that the content whatever I write should go to the next line. Then I write here i and one more i I will write. Then I say file, save and refresh. So here we have i and i. Both are of same size. You can see that. Whereas here you can see one i is bigger than the other one. Now, in the second line here, display, tell us what happens if I write just before this hash, I am going to use the tag called as small. After the i tag, I am going to close the tag small. Now, whatever you have written in between the opening small tag and the closing small tag is going to be displayed in smaller size. Let's see that. Why? Save, go to browser and refresh. Check out this. Here, our second high is smaller than the first high. You can find the difference. So there is the big tag, there is the small tag. So display the content that is bigger or the smaller inside. And the free tag is used to display the content as it is. That is the free formatted tag we say. So hope you guys have understood. I think for this tutorial, this much is enough, friends. In the next tutorial, we see some more examples. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. If you like these tutorials, please subscribe, share, and comment.